This weekend is Labor Day weekend, which is traditionally the end of summer and the beginning of fall. It's not really cold yet, but at least it's a lot cooler than it was last weekend. And next week the first cold front of the season will hit, and that means we need to protect a few of those more fragile plants, like the pineapples that we grew last summer. And in order to do that, we want to put them in the garden shed. But however, the shed doesn't have any windows. So while it probably protects plants from the cold, they won't get any light, which isn't that great either, right? So what I'm trying to do today is to put some windows into the shed. So the plan is to use some glass paint, some leftover shelf material to build windows for the shed. One here, a smaller one on this side. Almost all woodworking projects start as either a box or a frame. In this case it's a frame. A window frame. Well, that's all the cutting done, so only eight pieces, that was easy. These two by fours have a rounded corner here, but for this window frame I prefer a square one, so I can attach the trim a little nicer. So I'm gonna cut this off now with, um, with the table saw. So while I'm at it, I'm also cutting some smaller strips of wood, something that will go inside the frame and then the window can sit against it, the window pane can sit against it. I now have to remember to align the sides that I squared up like this. Actually, it goes like this. So this is another important thing to remember. So I'm back at my outdoor workshop. The lighting is a lot better here. This is one of the window frames now. This is the outside. And what I'm gonna do now is I will attach these stop blocks in here flush with the outside. And then the window pane will sit against the stop block from the inside. And then another block I'm gonna attach then on the other side. So really the window will be sandwiched in between those two stop blocks and then I can caulk a little bit over here and make it watertight. These are 18 gauge uh, one and a quarter nails or staples. So I'm thinking I can just attach the trim as well, the one that goes around the outside and then paint the whole thing. And then I can slide the whole window frame into the opening. So if I just, this is a Western Red Cedar. Um, that this overhangs now, I can show you maybe, hang on. So this outside trim overhangs the window frame by that much. So this is this would be the inside of the shed, this is the outside, and then the opening is around here, and then this overhangs the opening and 
covers it up nicely so I can put some caulking or glue in here and then just slide it into the opening so I mean this is obviously now horizontal and it, it would go vertical but you get the idea right so it needs to sit flush with the inside yeah with the inside of my stop block on both ends so that would mean I have to cut it right here I'm also attaching this one with staples but these are 16 gauge so they're a little bit bigger and they're also a little bit longer so um, one and a half inches so look at this this is the leftover piece the one I just cut off the longer one and this is a perfect fit it's I don't need to cut it it's not too long it's not too short it's it is a perfect fit if I plant this it would have not worked and this is the last one then it's ready for painting Oops. if this video was sponsored by audible I would be telling you now that painting isn't that boring because you can listen to a great audiobook. I'm not sponsored, so painting is just boring. And this is only the primer. Once this is dry, I have to do it again. Well, uh, So now that the paint is dry, I need to cut some holes. I want the top of the new window frame to align with the top of the door frame. And then I need to leave a little bit of a gap here. There are some studs on the inside, so I need to clear them. Well, not quite sure yet. So let me mark the top of the door frame first. Right, the door is not very plumb the door frame isn't very plumb but I think it looks better if I keep it parallel with the door frame than to plumb up the window so I'll do that I'll just make the cut parallel with the door frame Well, that could be a fit. Here's what it looks like on the inside. There's a stud here, and I think I will also be cutting into this one over here. It's a little hard to see. But that's not a problem because the window frame itself, I mean, they're perfectly good 2x4, so I can use them as new studs. I just need to brace it temporarily, and that not, might not even be necessary because there's an, one stud. Well, I guess it's not a stud. One support piece that is running lengthwise over here and I don't need to cut this one out Now for the moment of truth. 
really hope it fits. Perfect. This was very hard. I had to cut into the bottom plate. It's, the bottom plate is about half an inch taller than what I need for the frame opening. So with this demolition saw, I, I just cut it off. I think I did and that took a long time. And there's also two or three studs in the way and the nails and everything, but this one cut right through. So before I put it in place, I put a bead of super glue, well not super glue, liquid nails around the outside. It should hold it in place for now and also should seal it up a little bit. getting a little windy which is maybe not so good for the sound but it's really nice for me nice breeze and not too hot so up here I need to install some sort of a bar for the door catch if I don't then first of all we no longer have a door catch and I'm pretty sure this one this side of the door catch will just smash the window so that would be contraproductive and that's why I built a bar that goes across here which has the door catch installed. Because nothing is really straight, I don't level this. I will just step back a little bit and see what looks good and then screw it in place. All right, now for the great finale. I'll add a bit of caulking all around the inside and then I press the glass pane into the opening and it better fits. And this is transparent caulk or clear. So it is not clear right now, it is white, but when it dries, it will get clear. I'm adding three matchsticks at space as spacers here at the bottom.
And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.